And sometimes life just doesn't make sense. You know? I mean, you wake every morning. And then you catch yourself in the middle of the day thinking, what the hell am I doing? Why am I still here? They call you from the other room because there's shit that's gotta be done. And there are people that, that can't live without you. And there's laundry just piling up and your dad, your dad won't move from the couch. No matter how many times that you tell him he's got to go to work or take your sister to the playground or just be part of the family again. And I'm not, I'm not, it's not all bad or without love because it's there. It's just, it's stuck. It's hanging there in the balance. And you're just clutching, just trying to hold on for everyone else. But sometimes you, you can't even do it for yourself. Hi, my name is MJ Slide. I'm a 19-year-old producer and screenwriter, and what you just saw was the screen test for my lead actress for my upcoming project, Those Lighter Fluid Days. The film is set in the heart of the Dirty South, and it's actually kind of a difficult movie to talk about because there is no like high-concept, one-liner, log-line, Hollywood gimmicky pitch I can give you. The storyline is clearly driven by the, the character's humanity and the situations that they find themselves in. And we really want to tell a story that dynamically and thoughtfully explores the life of this young woman who has to somehow find the courage to be able to rise above the circumstances of her broken family and, uh, and discover what it really means to live and what really means to make her happy. The story surrounds 19-year-old Bree March. We find her in the story about a year and a half after her mom's passed away. and Her dad should be at a point right now where he's able to cope with the loss, but he just isn't, and he's completely checked out, leaving Bree to shoulder this absolutely enormous responsibility of having to take care of her seven-year-old sister. And Somehow Bree has gone and just put up these walls where she's just safe in her own little bubble with all of the responsibilities she has with her sister Taylor. And in this suspended animation, if you will, she just goes through the motions of life without actually considering how she should live any of it for herself. And then along comes this guy named Emerson who, um, with his sort of undeniable charm, turns her whole life on its head and she's forced to, to engage and forced to take risks and find out what she really wants for herself and what could make her happy. We've got an incredible group of people assembled to make this film. You can check out more about the cast and crew here on the project page. But there's absolutely no doubt in my mind we're going to make an amazing and touching film, but it's not going to be possible without your support. We're looking at a bare minimum of $9,500 to pull this thing off. So if you have in any way connected with the storyline, please back the film. It would mean the world to all of us. We've got some amazing incentives, but the greatest thing we can offer you is a project that you can be proud that you supported. So give if you can. Please spread the word. Thank you so much for your support. And I say, hey, let's make a movie.